Elementor gives you a huge ability to make changes to your responsive settings of your home page or any page or your entire website. And to make changes to your responsive settings, you simply come over here to the responsive icon here. Then you can display or you can preview your website on the tablet. And this is how it looks like. When we look into our header, you see how this looks like? It means that we can we have to make some changes on our header of canvas so that it is showing on top of this other section right here. When we scroll down here, this looks fine so far. And you can still make changes on how you want everything to appear. And also the same applies to the mobile version of your website. Now look at this. This is the header. Now we can even go back to the header. For example, when you come over here to our dashboard, put then templates, and then you select a theme builder and you open up your theme builder. Right here I have my header. I can simply open it with Elementor. And I'm going to show you how you can make this header here to display very well on your responsive settings. For example, I want this same search widget to show up in the same line over here and this kind of setting applies to, to your entire website and you can follow the same procedure to make changes to any of these other widgets that you created on your website when we come to our header over here we're going to switch to the mobile version and i'm going to come over here to this column i'm going to make it to be 50 percent and i'm going to make this other column also to be 50 percent you see how that works like now i'll move this all column that was below here to the top over there now it looks like we can also make changes to this also other widget down here which is our new sticker so i can simply say i don't want to show the new sticker on the mobile phone because it will look very very squeezed so that way i can simply come over here select the whole widget come to advanced come to the responsive options and you are going to say under visibility hide on mobile so that means that we don't we won't be able to see this widget on the mobile device now simply hit update now i'm going to take you to a live website which is over here i'm going to reload this and i'm going to view this website on the mobile version i can simply open it up on my phone or I can simply resize this browser to show you how it will look like. Now, when I do like this, you realize that on the mobile screen, this is how our header is looking like. And our search widget is on the same line or in the same row with our social media buttons. So that's how you can simply make changes to your mobile responsive settings of your website using Elementor. But also remember that we had hidden the new sticker and when I do like this, the new sticker is not appearing anywhere over there. Now when we come to our home page and we display our home page on the tablet, when I click over here, it's being hidden under our post grid on the home page. So how do we make sure that this uh, off canvas menu of ours is showing on top of these widgets because basically once someone wants to navigate through these widgets over here. So to do that, so we are simply going to come to our header section and come to this widget over here. We select that widget and come over here to advanced and give it a Z index but that is a little bit bigger. It can even be maybe 20 and then we can simply update. Now when we update, we're also going to update this section. When we update here, it's going basically to update the page section, not the header section because this is a home page. So when we update, we basically want to pull over the changes we have made on the header and also not lose the changes that we have made on the home page itself. Now I'm going to display this home page on the tablet and we see how this menu is going to look like. Boom! Now our off canvas menu is showing up on top of everything on our home page. Now this is what I wanted us to do and we can also navigate to different there different other sections of our website now you're asking why do we have something blank here is because by default elements kit made sure that you'll be using an image as your logo but we can even make changes to that come back to our header come over here and we can display our off canvas menu 
like this. See how this looks like over there. Now we are going to make changes to that. And here we can choose the logo that is going to represent our website over there. Now the logo can be an image of this logo here. Now imagine that we created a JPEG or a PNG of our logo over here. It's the one that we'll have to select over here. Let me say this one over here. And then we insert that as our logo. And then you simply update. Now when you update, I'm going to come over here to our live page. And I load our live page. And I'm going to move it to the tablet mode. This is kind of like the tablet mode. And boom. You see, now our logo has shown up. And this can be any logo that you choose to show up in your off canvas menu or your menu on the tablet or even on the mobile device. Even the colors over here can change. You can switch up everything and even the hover effects over here. Keep this tutorial a little bit brief and give you the basics that can get you started creating something that you want without actually spending a ton of cash hiring someone, yet you can just spend a few hours and make this thing the way you want it to be like. And also I've created a tutorial on how to create an off canvas menu using Elementor and you can always check them out on this channel. I'll close over our header since we have finished making our changes. And in brief, that's how you can make changes to your responsive settings of your website.